Hello everyone, it's April week four and time for the Let's Journal prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And for anybody who wants to follow along with our prompts and challenges, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. So please do feel free to come along and join us. Um, Just be aware there are four entry questions that you will need to answer. Otherwise, your request will automatically uh, be declined. It's just so that we can sort of weed out any any bots. Um, Right, well, I want to work in this journal here. Um, I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks. Um, There are two videos relating to this so far. Um, The first one was where I created the journal cover itself and then I posted um, another video on Friday evening where I added um, the signatures and a couple of tuck spots Um, This tuck spot here, for example, um, I added some silk paper as a little tuck spot front and back, added some little tags that were sent to me by um, my friend Eugene, Um, got a tuck spot here and that's as far as I got. Oh, I added this um, charm to the side of the journal as well. But today I want to make some ephemera that I can use to decorate my journal. So let me just pop that to one side for a second. I've pulled out um, a few bits and pieces. First of all, I've got the um, papers that were um, sent to me by my friend um, Eugene. Um, They match perfectly with the tags that I've popped inside the pocket. So, you know, it may well be that um, I use some some of these. Um, It was just beautifully presented. Thank you ever so much, um, Eugene, if you're watching this. So I will try and use those. I've also dug out... um, this decoupage kit that I've had in my stash for a very long time Um, and this was from the works um, pre-Covid. I've probably had this for for three or four years Um, but you know the images I just thought in the papers would be absolutely perfect for my journal. Just look at these, I mean there's some gorgeous um, things that I thought I might be able to to use that just you know match the colour theme really well so I've got that. I've also got um, a couple of sets of rub-ons that my friend Debbie sent me. I've also pulled out this tilde kit because there are a few bits and pieces that I thought would um, match. Um, I've got these cute little birds here for example so I don't know I may well sort of pull on this kit um, here. This is a really old one I do believe it's discontinued but you know beautiful and I'm determined to use it. I've also got this advertisement ephemera collection. Now this is something that I ordered from Amazon um, a while ago, a couple of years ago probably, and I just haven't got around to using. But some of the images in here I thought would would go really well. There's some beautiful, I mean, look at this mucha design here. Love some of these, just really pretty. Um, There's some floral designs as well, which I I thought would um, be perfect. So I may pull on this. And then I've also got um, a couple of other bits and bobs that I've pulled out of my stash. This is a photocopy of some um, fabric labels, vintage fabric labels that um, I have. And I've photocopied these and shrunk them down. Again, you know, colour-wise, these would go really well, also match the theme. Um, I've got this as well, and also this flower that um, my friend Pam sent me. So I don't know, I've got lots of bits and pieces that I can play with. I'm going to start off by making a piece of ephemera to fit this pocket here. I've got a thin piece of cardstock that's um, the perfect size. Um, Just because I know I'm bound to get asked, it measures just over three and a quarter inches by just over five um, inches. Um, I don't want too much bulk in this journal, so this piece of lightweight cardstock um, is perfect. This is probably, I don't know, 150 GSM, I would have thought. And I'm going to start off by using um, some of the ephemera in this decoupage kit. And I'm going to start off with this this one here because I think colour-wise it's just going to go perfectly with the gold and also the burgundy that's in the background. So let me just start off by popping these 
pieces out so that we can just have a play around and try and piece um, something together. Now, of course, this is way too big, so we're going to have to um, cut some pieces down. Um, but I know that many of us have got decoupage kits like this in our stash that, you know, have probably sat there for an absolute age and that we haven't um, used. I've got several of these and I, you know, I very rarely use them. You see, that's gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm just going to take my time now and just um, punch all of these out. I've cut out all of the pieces of ephemera and I'm just going to start off by gluing um, this piece here onto my card. Of course, it's too big, but we can trim it down. Um, I've chosen this piece just because I think the flower goes really well with the burgundy handmade paper. And I'm just going to stick this on with a glue stick. So that's glued on and I'm going to back it with this piece of paper that Eugene sent me just because I think colour wise it goes really well. I also want to round the corners just because I think it'll look a bit softer um, if I do that. So let's sort that out and then I want to ink around the edges of all of my pieces. So that's what it's like on the back, that's the front and I'm going to use walnut, um, walnut stain. So I'll go around this and I'm also going to go around all of these elements as well. Now, all of these um, little embellishments have got these notches where they've come um, out of that perforated sheet. I'm cutting these off just because these will drive me mad. Um, and, you know, it's a bit of a pain, but it's one of those things that I have got to do because otherwise I know that it's going to really bug and irritate me. So there we have it. I think I've done done them all. Did I do that one? Yes, I have. Now let's try and piece a composition um, together. I think um, I want my girl at an angle. It's too boring if I have it straight, I think. I also want to use this little um, ticket. I think that's pretty. So that can go down there at the bottom. Um, what else do I want to do? I want to use this um, rose and I think I want to have that tucked underneath there like like that I think. I want to use some of these butterflies and oh I've left one of my notches on. Hang on it's got to go. Got to go. Where's the um, where's the ink? And I think I want this to be dimensional so that can go on the corner. And then I'll go off camera then and um, glue all of this down. I've also got this tiny butterfly here, which I thought could go in the other corner. Oh gosh, these are pinging all over the place. And I've already got glue on my hands from where I've stuck the background down. <laughs> You get the idea. I'm just trying to get um, an idea for composition. I've also got this pretty rose which could go here. That might be a bit cluttered. I wonder whether that would fit at the top. Is that too much? Do, do I need it? Or could I perhaps use this bow? I think I like the bow. And I don't know whether I want to use any more elements. I personally um, think that's enough. So I'm going to take a photograph of this um, just so that I can see it through the camera lens. And then I'm just going to stick everything down using some art glitter glue. So there we have it. Isn't that a pretty card? I like how dimensional the butterflies are. Very happy with that. I need to put these somewhere safe um, because I might be able to use those for something else. Let's bring the journal back and tuck it into my pocket. I wonder whether there's somewhere else that that could go because of course I'm covering my girl up, aren't I? I could of course put it um, on the back here if I wanted to. I wonder whether it could... Um, <sighs> Go here, I've got loose fibres um, everywhere. You see it um, looks really pretty in that um, little tuck spot there as well. I'm going to stick it there, I think. I think that's a, a better place for it. Next up, I want to try and do something with this beautiful bicycle here. Um, and maybe this will be perfect for this little pocket um, instead. So I'm just going to take all of the pieces out again and ink around the edges. And let's see what we can piece together um, from this one here. 
let's have a look and see what we can do with these pieces. Now, I've added um, a piece of ledger paper to the back of my card here. And I think I'm going to have my focal image off on an angle again so that the bicycle is straight. I don't think I'm going to use this clipboard um, just because I think it's too big and overpowering now that I've, um, you know, I'm using a much smaller piece than um, the background was intended for. Love this little um, butterfly. Um, in fact, it's not. It's a moth, isn't it? So... I think I can have that in the right hand corner and do I want to use this um, little ticket. I think that could perhaps go down there and I think that makes a really pretty simple piece of ephemera. So let's see if this works better inside this pocket. And yes, I think it does. Um, the colours are really pretty. Um, need to find something really nice to do with this side of the page here. So that's, um, that's that. Now for my next piece, I want to mix things up a bit. I want to make a tag um, that will fit inside this little tuck spot here. And I'm going to use this ephemera, but I want to use one of the papers that Eugene gave me um, that will match with the tags that I've got on the left hand side. I've pulled out these two pieces of paper and I think these will go really well. I'm going to discard this for the time being but I do want to use some of these bits here. So I've glued my paper down. I just want to cut this into um, a tag shape. Take this over to the um, other side just so that it's um, symmetrical. I can't bear it when um, the edges aren't even. That's just me. <laughs> so there we go. That's my um, basic uh, tag shape, happy with that. So what do I want to um, do with, um, with this? I'm thinking that um, I can add this on. Now we've got this um, piece of um, lace here lace cut out but I'm wondering whether I could um, perhaps dig out some real lace whether that would um, look nicer. I've had a look through my stash and I found this. This was gifted to me in Happy Mail. I'm really sorry because I can't remember um, who gifted it to me but I am thinking that um, I can add that to the side. I think that's going to look a whole lot nicer. Um, I am going to round the corners of this. I'm just going to use my smaller corner rounder. And of course, I've just spilled bits absolutely everywhere. But hey ho, in fact, this is the large one. What was I thinking? But never mind, it doesn't matter. So there we go. Yep, I like how that looks. And then I want to um, add a bit of um, lace to the to the side. I've just ironed my piece of lace because it had got rather crumpled and it will be easier for me to glue it now that it's straight. And what I'll do, let me just um, use a piece of parchment paper. I'm just going to add some of my Kalal glue, fabric glue, just to this edge. So we'll just add a fine bead of glue just along this edge here, which will just be enough to stick it down. Not too much because I don't want it to um, bleed, bleed through. And then let's pop this on. Where's that piece of paper? going to stick that on the edge here and try and get that nice and um, nice and straight in fact I think I want it um, a bit further over about there I think and then I can um, trim the top and the bottom this focal image is just a bit too big, so I'm just going to get rid of the border. I'm going to take that off to the paper trimmer to do that. That fits um, much better now. I do want to round the corners, um, but I think I'm only going to do it on the left hand side because, of course, this is a different shape. Um, yeah, I like how that looks. Um, really pretty. Um, and I do want to ink around the edges of all of these pieces as well. Now, before I glue anything down, I want to add some coffee stained um, paper 
to the back of my tag. This was gifted to me in Happy Mail. And again, I can't remember um, who sent me this. Which which piece do I want to use? I think I like this one. This one here. I'm going to use some some of this and add just a little bit of this to the to the back. That's what that looks like. So, you know, for those of you that like to journal, this could be used as a journaling spot. For me, I don't journal, but, you know, it just adds to the aesthetics. I'm going to glue this on here like this. And then I'm thinking that I can use some um, of these embellishments as well. Now, which ones do I want to um, use? I think I want this um, straight. Do I like that one? or this one here. I think I like that one. I've also got this um, heart, if I can grab grab hold of it. So I'm thinking that that could go on there like that. Do I want to use this jewel or could I use that on there instead? I think I prefer um, that one. I think that's um, that's very pretty. And then to finish this tag off, I'm thinking that I could use this piece of ephemera, which was from one of the previous pages. This one here came with um, with this page, but I just personally think that that's um, too big, too overpowering. I prefer this one. What I am going to do is cut um, a circle. What I'm thinking is that I can um, mount this at the back in some um, of the coffee stained paper. I've got my little um, discs. I've got two of them that I've just glued to um, a cutout of cardstock. I'm going to ink around the edges of this one here and just stick this one here that I can have on the front. So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue stick to stick, stick that down. That, um, that should do, do fine. Let's stick this onto the... Um, front. Oh, come back you. Where's, where's it gone? Let's try and get that fairly, fairly central. You see that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then I can glue these back to back and that will act as a little um, tab, tab top. So again, I'm just going to use some art glitter glue, I think this time, which is slightly stronger. And that will be my little um, tab. Isn't that pretty? I like how that looks. And then bring back my journal and that's just going to slot um, in there just like that. I like the way that it um, pokes out the top um, as well. And then finally, I just want to add a focal image to these um, lovely tags. Um, I've got these little cabinet cards here. Now, these were free printouts from the Graphics Fairy. I've used these um, in a Bohemian Star project I did a couple of years ago, which I'll link in the description box below. I think I've got one of the tags that um, I made here in front of me. Isn't this just absolutely beautiful? The other two um, I gave away in Happy Mail. Um, but you can see that um, I've used one of these here. Um, these are printed out on smaller scale. Two of them have been inked around the edges using um, treasure gold, um, but the third one hasn't for some reason. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of gold around the edges. I just love the look of this um, treasure gold. So this is Treasure Gold. This is it here. Um, it's um, a solvent-based um, gilding wax, and this is the colour Renaissance. They do several different colours. Um, Prim not Prima, um, Pepio also do a similar gilding wax as well, which is more readily available. Um, I don't know whether it's any cheaper, but it's certainly easier to, to get hold of. If I can find a link to Treasure Gold, I'll leave it in the description box below. But it just adds such a beautiful um, finish. Look at that. So I'm going to have to set that off um, to one side for a few minutes for that to to dry. Let's start off with this um, smaller tag. I think I'm going to place that down like that. I've also got one of these um, pretty feathers left over and I'm thinking I can have that there and just a little heart just to finish um, it off. So I think um, that will be um, my first tag. 
Isn't that pretty? Then for this next tag here, the medium size one, I'm wondering whether I can add a piece of this um, lace at the bottom here. I just want to ink around the edges just to um, frame it. Now, what do I want to do? I think I'm just going to cut this um, off here. So I'm just going to ink the whole of this. I know I'm wasting a bit of it, but I would rather get it um, centralised because otherwise I know that that will bother me. So let's just um, ink this up, grunge it up a, a little bit and, um, and help to frame it. That looks better, doesn't it? So I'm just going to glue that down. And then for this one here, I want to keep it really simple. I'm just going to use a little bit of burlap just to mount my image on. So I'm just going to add glue to the back and stick it straight down to the um, fabric. Stick, um, stick this on. And then I'm just going to pop that down as well. I just really like seeing the frayed um, edges. I'm going to keep this one straight, I think. Just add a bit of glue just to the, just to the centre so that they're all slightly um, different, but um, all on a theme. We can have that slightly down over this um, this little lace border that we've just um, added as well. Isn't that pretty? So we've got two of these. I like how those, um, those look. And then next up, I want to do something with this um, larger tag here. I'm thinking I can use a piece of this paper which came from the ephemera pack. So I'm just going to cut a piece of uh, this down. I don't want to cover up too much of my background. Maybe I'll cut it um, there. So let's start off by rounding the corners. I want my larger corner rounder, I think. I don't think I want to trim anything off the top. I think that's okay. Let's just make sure I've got that um, straight. I'm going to ink around the edges as well. And I've also pulled out a couple of pieces of chiffon um, ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. <laughs> Here we go. You can tell I've been at this a long time. It's been a long day. And after this, I'm going to call it um, a day. And I'm just wondering whether I can attach that like like so. I think that um, that's really pretty. I've ended up with three really beautiful tags, all slightly different, but all on a theme. Um, love the fact that the chiffon is not um, glued down. I added the glue to the back of this embellishment um, here and then stuck it um, underneath a heavy, heavy book. Love those. Now, I just want to add these to the journal and I'm thinking that I'll add um, the medium and small one to the inside pocket um, here and maybe add the larger one to the back. Um, let's spread all of these beautiful embellishments um, around. So that one's going to go in there like um, like that. So let me just show you what, um, what I've done so far. So we've got that one there. We've got this um, little journaling card, whatever you want to um, call it. Um, love this one here with the butterflies. Um, these are dimensional as well. Let me just um, show you. So... I only um, glued these in the in the centre. Really pretty, love that. Um, and then this one here, isn't that just gorgeous? And then of course the um, two tags in the front pocket. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas and inspiration. Um, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think of um, these ideas in the description box below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.